Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Lark Bottle. I really hadn't heard about this thing until I was browsing Amazon and it appeared randomly. And I was instantly compelled to buy one, to be honest. Uh, I mean, I want less germs, especially in this time. Hope everyone's doing well. And the Lark Bottle offers less germs. So it was a perfect match. The Lark Bottle is made by Lark. I think I'm saying it right. A company that seems to be based in the US. The company claims to use this UVC LED technology to purify water. Now me and my uninformed nature took that to mean filtration. So no, if you're like me, this is not going to filter your water or reduce the particulate matter. As I will show later in a little video of me thinking that I was smarter than these guys, but it turns out, no, they were smarter than me. It's just gonna purify it. Now, one interesting thing is how similar the logo is to the Half-Life logo, which I kind of like. But anyway, what is UVC LED technology, you ask? Uh, here's a quick explanation about it. So UVC is essentially referring to ultraviolet light used to eradicate germs and microorganisms by affecting their internal structures, such as their DNA. Now, it's commonly used to sterilize food and water globally. The C in this is referring to the range of wavelengths that this technology employs, which is between 200 and 280 nanometers. I believe that's right. And I believe there's everything from A, B, C, and a few other designations. But anyway, I'm no expert, but what I gather from this is that the technology in question is a technology commonly used to do exactly what Lark is claiming its water bottle can do which is purify water. So as long as the LED is in fact emitting UVC rays and doing so for a certain period of time, then there's good reason to believe that the product does exactly what it says it does, which is amazing. The main formula for figuring out the effectiveness of UVC purification is given as a function of time of exposure to the UV light and the intensity of the light itself. Considering adventure mode, the mode where the bottle does the cycle for three minutes is longer than the normal cycle, it all seems perfectly reasonable what Lark is claiming. One thing worth noting is that this process is most effective with filtered water. It is not ineffective with less filtered water, but is less effective. Uh, mainly because the particles can be a preventative shield for the microorganisms to shield them kind of against the light. Now, Lark does not say that you can only drink water from this or will not perform any of its duties, but you know what they're claiming is fairly reasonable, that if you have water and more filtered water, this thing is going to do a pretty good job of killing any microorganisms in there. If you want to drink your coffee or your juice out of it, well, so be it. But I guess you should just be aware of that point. All right, well, let's move to the unboxing. You've already been seeing here that I've been unboxing this the whole time, and it is a very nice unboxing experience. It feels premium. Uh, the whole thing is wrapped in a nice cloth, and it comes with a charger, and there's a top button which indicates what, the mo what mode the device is in. So you have green to tell you that you're charging, blue to tell you that there's a cycle in process, and then there's the red to help you figure out that you really need to charge the thing. And this thing lasts for about a month which is super good. Um, and then anyway, you can just tap the button once and it'll go through a cycle. And if you don't tap it every two hours, it'll go through a cycle on its own. And you can double tap the button on the top and it will go through adventure mode, which is essentially the same thing, but it will ke keep the process going for longer. I think it's three minutes. All of the technology that's within this product is in the cap itself. And so that charges, that performs the task of purifying, that has the button in it, and the bottle is just a normal bottle. Uh, there's a USB charging port that's exposed on the top. And besides that, there's a bunch of colors to choose from. And I really, really like the blue color that I chose. Now, the good. Let's talk about the really good things about this. Look, I really like the construction of the device. It feels premium, it looks great. Um, you definitely feel a little more special than your buddies with maybe another brand or a knockoff brand, but it, it just really does feel and look the part. Now, it keeps your water cool or warm for a long time. Now, I tested this, and time after time, I would leave the water bottle with ice in it, and I would pick up the water bottle a day later, maybe even 24 hours plus later, and there would still be ice in it. So I'm extremely impressed at how well this thing can insulate from the outside world. 
It charges in a short amount of time and the charge will last a month. Two super cool things. I mean, I really love just pouring water in there, clicking the button and feeling that my water is just that much more purified. It really is a great feeling. I cannot deny that. It also has a very familiar Alexa-like blinking ring on the top, which I think is a cool touch too. It's just an easy, I mean, I wanna go through the good, but it's a water bottle and it does everything it says it does, which to me is exactly what I want a product to be. It should tell you what it's gonna do and it should just do it. Let's move on to the bad. Look, the bad, I cannot even really say that the bad things are that bad because I have a feeling that this is an early product slash prototype from the startup. Um, the bad things really are hard to come by. I had initially been silly enough to think that purification and filtration are the same thing. When reading further, I found out that in fact, I was testing the wrong thing. So I have a little video here just going through what I was doing. So I use a little particulate matter detector thinking that I had found out that the Lark doesn't really, you know, purify water. But I mean, it was interesting to do, but it's absolutely of no use. The only real thing that I had a problem with was the exposed charging port. That definitely should have been sorted out. Maybe if it was covered, it would be nicer. But in Lark's defense, it's rated IPX7, which means that you can immerse it in water between 15 centimeters and one meter. Uh, that is given by the seven in the rating. The X means that it is not tested or there's no data about the product's ability to prevent dust or objects entering into the device. I don't want to nitpick or anything, but I do feel like the water does taste slightly more metallic. I don't think that that's necessarily bad. It's just the way that my bottle seems to handle water, but it feels pure, so I want to turn that into a good. And my opinion on this, for me personally, I, I like the bottle and I definitely feel better about using it than using a normal non-UVC bottle or just drinking out of a glass. It's $95, so it's not that cheap, but there's also a few alternatives which are highly rated on Amazon but I think the Lark image makes it feel like a better choice. It is more expensive than a non-UVC bottle too, but I don't think that's the main concern if you're looking for a self-purifying water bottle. Honestly, all in all, I give it a thumbs up and I'm gonna keep it and I have been actually using it a ton more than I expected to, especially in this time. Every time I pour some water in, I click the button, wait my minute, and I feel like I'm drinking super water. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up, uh, comment, let me know what you think. I am doing my best to get better at this and I have been listening to your comments, I know. So thank you again for watching and please subscribe if you like this as well.